everybody. I hope that uh, a lot of you listen to my videos and, and, and you're learning something from, I mean, I'm learning something every time I talk to you. Um, because I want us to now start to move forward with compassion, with uh, the, the sense of, of loving people. Because in this current age, under, you know, whatever, I'm not going to try to go there too much, but under the administration we're in, we're, we're dividing each other. And, and just really horrible. Um, we made some good moves. I mean, some good moves have been happening. Some good things happening. Now, Scott Prode is gone, so that's good. Um, and uh, Mueller has expanded his investigation. So, yay! I hope he finds, finds the trash that we already know. Um, anyway, um, let's talk about MS for a minute. Multiple sclerosis is, is a horrible... Uh, sneaky disease. I mean, with me, with like Natalie, with my, my roommate Jackie, you really don't notice it. Well, with Jackie you do because she's in a wheelchair, but you really don't notice it with some people because, you know, they call it the invisible disease for a lot of people that don't know. I take Tecfidera. Um, it's been very good to me as I I don't notice any side effects at all. Um, and Natalie takes a Baggio. Um, and for those who might be scared of Baggio, uh, for her, it was just a little bit of stomach discomfort. And that's one of the side effects, but that was at first, and then it went away. But here's the key thing. No matter what uh, DMD you take, um, the disease-modifying drug, um, no matter what you do, always, you got to work out, you got to be, be healthy, you got to eat healthy. You got to help it. You got to help your, the drug do its job. You got to assist, assist it. Um, I can't stress that much more. Also, one thing that people don't talk about a lot, uh, hardly at all, is you need a good mental attitude. Positive mental attitude. I call it PMA. I wrote in my books, um, you got to think positively because the way you think has something to do, has a lot to do with how your cells react. Now, that's scientifically proven. You can look that up. Um... So always wake up with the intent to do something positive, with the intent to, and not positive for other people, do positive positive for yourself, because whatever you do good for yourself is going to to reach out and touch other people. Like, if you smile at somebody, they're going to smile back, and if they don't, well, that's their problem. It just should not stop you from doing you. That is what, um, I'm saying, that that's what, um, uh, sorry, that dude's kind of loud, um, that, that's what it's all about. Is you got to, to be positive. Now, I always said this to uh, Natalie. Um, somebody's always watching. Mm -hmm. Always. So if you're bad, if you're mad, or if you're angry or whatever, somebody sees that. Whether it be a child, whether it be uh, you know, one of your so-called friends or whatever. Whatever. If you post on Facebook. Yeah, you post if on you're, Facebook. If you're don't, mad. don't sit up in the pity party. Yeah. Don't, don't do that. Don't. Stop. Make make it stop with you. Make make it in with you. And that's why I made my group no more in this prison. Is because in my group we don't sit there and wall. I don't let people wallow. I mean, yes, everybody has, everybody's gonna have down days. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you're gonna have a great day every day and MS is whatever. No, I'm not dismissing it. What I'm saying is let's get positive feed out there. Not negative. Let's not all get a cesspool of negativity going. Because that's what happens. A swamp of negativity comes if, uh -huh. if you if you don't see that. Because everybody tries to one up each other with how bad they're feeling. Yes. What the? I don't understand that. I was like, um, I'd rather, like I said, bring, pull put a ladder down so somebody else can climb up, and, and then hopefully when they get up, they put a ladder down. Some people won't throw a ladder down to you, but that's all right. Because eventually they're going to need you to bring a ladder down to them when you get high enough. Okay? And and, and don't sit there and, and fire, fire, fire and don't do it. Always do what's best for anything in any situation, regardless of what happens. It's not what you do or not what people do to you. It's what you do in the return. It's how you react. And that's part of the golden rule. Treat others like you want to be treated. Now, some people don't have that. That's all right. That's okay. No one said the world is perfect. No one said everybody's going to act the way you do. No one said is going to act the way uh, Buddha or God or uh, whoever. 
wherever you believe in. If you believe in a tree, no one, no one says that. It's just try to be a decent person. Like we, we're seeing right now what it's like for people not to be decent. And we're seeing where that takes us. I mean, whether you like the guy or you don't, I mean, honestly, these lack of compassion, the last lack of empathy for others is just amazing. Um, I can't do it, but um, there's people out there that like to put others, other things, and money and all that in front of other people. I can't, see, I can't stand that. I can't, I cannot do that. Period. I mean, I really am saying can't because I cannot physically put money ahead of nobody. If you ask me, and I know a lot of people call me stupid, in order if, to slap Natalie for a million dollars, I would not do it. Oh, you're you're afraid to. I would, no, it's not that I'm afraid to. Yeah, you are. She acts like she kicked my butt. Anyway, um, yes. well, I would not hit a woman in the first place, but, um, and yes, I am kind of scared of her. She's, she's <laughs> crazy. Um, but, the, see, that, that's a, I'm empathetic towards her. It's like, I'm not going to hurt somebody else to make myself gain. That was me way back. But after hospice has a real way of changing your views, when you are facing death in the face, you change your mind, your whole mentality changes about people and about how how, how fragile our lives are. And and just to think, I don't want no one, not even my person, I would imagine to be an enemy of mine, which I don't have. I don't think I'd have any, but I would not wish that on nobody. I don't do that. So I, I hope that you gain from that. And you, you, you're trying to reach out and help somebody understand MS. And help someone understand your issues. It's not about them. It's about you. When you help somebody else, you're helping yourself. You're learning how to, to become compassionate. You're learning how to become empathetic. When you help yourself. That empathy will, will muster and boil over to other people. So love yourself, and 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 not not in the conceited way, not in the the megalomaniac, me, megalomaniac way, not in the uh, the narcissistic way, but because when you do that, you love yourself so much that it becomes selfish. Um, you don't want to do that. So when you say, I say love yourself, is love yourself enough to respect yourself, to respect what you do. Okay, um, that's just. Really reach out and try to help others and show people with, with MS that does have a good attitude. Does just get out there and show people like at the gym. We show people every single day. They know that we deal with the mess here, and they see us working out every well every day but Sunday, every day, and they know that we deal with the mess. And half of them are like, "Well, if they can do it, how come I can't?" Exactly. I'm sure some of them are, are in a position where it's basically too much. But, you know, I've done videos showing you what I did when I was in a wheelchair, when I did when I was in a hospice, when I was a quadriplegic. I've showed you. So there's no excuse. There's videos out there. I learned from Dr. Walls. You can do it. She was in a worse position than I was. She was in a wheelchair and she couldn't move. And, and she, uh, now she's 100% back. It's crazy. Um... It can be done. People just try. Just really, it, it, it's it's all about your your attitude. And diet. And diet. Yeah. Can't eat Twinkies and expect me. Yeah. Don't you know if, if you if you're if you're eating like your your body's a trash can, then you clean that trash can up, but you still think your body's a trash can. Guess what? It's always going to be a trash can. It's never going to be a temple of, of good health because you're putting in trash. So instead of a Twiggy, eat a piece of broccoli. I know it doesn't taste as good, but it's mental. It's mental. If you think to yourself, let me do one or two things. Try it every day. Do one or two things differently than you've done the day, the day um, prior. So today I ate two candy bars. Tomorrow I'll only eat half. That's a good step. Then you'll finally get into, well, now I ate one peach. I'm going to eat two tomorrow. An apple. Or my banana, or grapes, or whatever, whatever your gig, just put the sugar down. 
Um, like with me, I love soda or pop or soda, whatever, however you say it in the east here, west, Midwest. Um, I went out and bought a soda stream. I love that thing. Um, I get the bubbles or carbonation, whatever you want to say, without the sugar. What I do is I get soda stream and it's water and, and carbonation and CO2 and yeah. And then I get um, like meal, uh, meal energy or one of those drink things. I put a little bit in there so I get the taste and that's that. Or I buy some orange juice or I buy some grapefruit juice and I put that in there. So I'm not drinking sugar, sugar, sugar water. I'm drinking maybe, maybe it's the carbonation that's bad for I, I don't know. It's, I'm not drinking sugar, I'll tell you that much. And I feel so much better. So it's just a, just a few little things uh, that you can do. Um, I'll come at you tomorrow. And uh, when is it? Saturday? Tomorrow Saturday? I don't know. I think it is. Well, I'll come at you next business day, I guess. Next non-Sunday. Take care, guys.